What's going on guys? It's Justin here from Summit Racing. We have Brent here from Fergola and he's gonna tell us about some of their cool fittings and lines. And then we're gonna show you guys how to make a line. So how are you doing today? How's your show going? You good, know, man. you know, beautiful Pure Eye. We're out here in Indianapolis. Yeah, very good, very good. Had a good first day, second day, and it's, uh, it's very busy. So we're happy with the attendance and everything. So you guys are, you know, you're well known in the fitting and line market. Run us through some of the cool products you guys brought to the show. Sure, so I got some new items. Um, First, I just want to mention that we do manufacture our stuff in the United States, uh, manufacture in Southington, Connecticut. Um, you guys are a great outlet for us. You know, people can buy just about everything that we sell on your website. You stock a lot of it. Um, some of our brand new products, um, we have a 6000 series PTFE hose that's very popular. Uh, guys pump fuel systems with this, high pressure nitrous lines, power steering. Um, it's always been like a size 6, size 8, size uh, 10 kind of thing. Um, but we do have some hose ends that are jumping up and down in sizes now, expanders and reducers. So uh, you can use like a dash 8 hose um, on a dash 6 bulkhead, which is using a, a, a brand new uh, hose end there. Heck yeah. Yeah, you guys have a huge catalog. You know, offer something about for every piece of plumbing on your automobile or race car, which is really cool. We at Summit Racing appreciate that, you know, it's made in America and we love selling your guys' stuff. So tell us about, you guys have brought uh, uh, some new lines and stuff for the Holly Sniper units. Can you yeah. touch on those a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so we have some EFI feed line kits uh, and they're designed to fit uh, the new Holly Sniper um, uh, throttle body that they came out with. But, uh, you can get them in a black cover uh, in stainless, uh, size 6 or size 8, and they're made with PTFE hose. So they're impervious to fuel. You can use them with E85. Um, in the long run, you don't have to worry about the, the, uh, the hose drying out. You don't have to replace it. And that's very important because in modern times, most fuels aren't straight gasoline and at least has a little bit of ethanol in it. Sure. Or, you know, with race car guys, E85 is the go fast fuel it right is. now. So um, to have a line that you're not going to have to worry about breaking down or having those kind of issues is important because in fuel injection, everything has to be crazy clean. Yeah. So one of the other cool things we're going to do today is you're going to show us how to, uh, you know, assemble a fitting in one of your guys' fitting machines. Uh, you want to yeah. make our way over there and yeah. check that out? Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. So we've made our way over to your guys' crimping machine, and you're going to show us how to crimp a hose. Now, this beats doing it with a vise. This is uh, quite the tool. It really does, yeah. It speeds up the process. It's great for small shops or guys that have a lot of cars coming through there where they're doing a lot of plumbing installs. Um, <clears throat> saves them a lot of time and labor. So you want to show us how it works? Yeah, sure. Sure. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the uh, the hose end is kind of home on the end of the hose. Give that a good push. Then you're going to place it through the bottom of the machine. And you want to leave the collar sticking up about a sixteenth of an inch. Put your pusher cone in. And then it's just a matter of uh, using this jack handle to get it down in place. <laughs> And then just going to pump this down until the LED lights up. Release the pressure. Pull your pusher cone off. And you just want to measure the uh, the diameter, the outside diameter of the collar, and make sure you're in five thousandths of what we call for in the catalog. And that's that process. That's pretty easy right there, and uh, you know I think that would save a lot of time if you're plumbing a whole car. Yeah, there are multiple cars, yeah. You run like, you know, 20, 30 cars for a shop in a year. Yep. Oh, yeah. For sure. So if you guys are interested in any Fergola products or have any questions about their offering, head over to one of the Summit Racing retail stores to our website or call into our customer service line, and those folks will be able to get you helped out and get you anything you need. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today, Brent. And, you know, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you around. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.